Let's get organized. Hey, what's up? Steven Tillman here. Today, we're going to be talking about getting more organized. So in my other tutorials, which I will link right here, they are real estate photography. And if you would like for me to do other photography tutorials as well, I can do that. Skin retouching, all that other stuff I have plans to, just hadn't got around to it. So make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe and bell notification so you can see when I put out those videos. Today we're gonna to be touching on something that is very, 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 very important. This is something that if you do not do your business could get messed up if you've ever went anywhere or worked anywhere else or you've had a job where uh, they have employees they have record of who works there the key word here that i want to talk about is record 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 back up so i'm gonna i'm gonna give you my two top things that i feel for one is for backing up and if you're like me and you don't always have the extra cash to spend thousands of dollars on a good computer that can do photos work back and forth seamlessly between Lightroom and Photoshop or if you're editing video you're trying to get a real estate video or any kind of video at all any kind of production you need a faster computer a way to get around that is this right here the Samsung portable SSD T5 when I am editing something, I have two other podcasts. I also do these YouTube videos. I also do real estate videos. And if anybody wants anything shot in 4K, if you have an older computer, it can be very, 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 in the little rainbow. I have a Mac computer. And if you're doing something and it, it locks up or something, you know, you get the little, little rainbow that's supposed to make you feel better about your computer being slow and stupid. But... This thing right here is a lifesaver. So I have it pulled up right here on my computer and I bought the case with it because the way it comes is just like this. So you don't have a case. So for $8.99, you can get this right here. You have your cord that fits inside just like that. And then this fits inside of here and you can zip it up. So if you travel a lot, like next week I'm going to Oklahoma, um, I'm shooting, if you ever heard of a sandwich shop called McAllister's or a deli, whatever you call it, um, I do all their commercial stuff and I'm going up to Oklahoma to shoot one of theirs next Wednesday. So if I want to edit my video and stuff that I'm doing up there too, at the hotel, I got this right here. It's portable. It's very easy. You can easily just take it, throw it in your camera bag and take it with you. Now this right here is a two terabyte. You can see over here, two terabyte, um, up to 540 megabytes a second external solid state drive so what it is in your computers you have an ssd okay so that is what things are writing on as you're editing and all that stuff so if you get one of these it is an external you can back up on the road have it on your memory card have it this and then you come to the second phase of what i do as soon as i get home is i go over to this guy now this is a WD elements. It is a 12 terabyte. You're like, oh my gosh, 12 terabytes. Steven, I don't need that much stuff. So this is my mine right here. This is my little baby. This right here, every time I come in off the road, every time I come into the office, I take what I have and I back it up because there's nothing worse. And I've done this before. That's why I bought that. For one, I have a 10 terabyte one. This one's a 12 terabyte. It is a little expensive, but $219 is very, very inexpensive when it comes to the cost it would cost you if you lost your job. Like say you come, you put it on uh, your computer or whatever. And I've had this, like, I wish I would have had this years ago because I had a computer, uh, it was a Mac, the battery started going bad and I didn't get it changed out because I didn't know what it was. I thought it was something else. It erased every single photo, video that I had of my son being born. I, there's no way to, to get it back. There's absolutely no way I could get it back. They said everything on the laptop was completely, um, it wasn't recoverable. That kills me that if I would have just had a hard drive, I, I still would have had my information. Now that was something personal for me. So from these mistakes and not having something to back up my stuff on, 
That's a big no-no in this industry because we have video, we have photos. We need something to back it up temporarily and then to back it on something larger for greater storage. And if you think that 10 terabytes, 12 terabytes is a lot, it is. But if you're doing video as well, it adds up very quickly. So I wanted to do this short video today just to kind of show you what I use to speed up my process. This right here is a lifesaver because my computer, it's, I bought it a year or two ago, but the more you use a computer, the older it gets, the slower it gets. It's like us, when we get old, we start getting slow. And this thing right here has literally taken my time that I was spending on editing and has cut it in half or more. And so I wanted to share that with you guys because to me, that's valuable information. So yes, and see, you look at the price difference the Samsung T5, and this is, you can do all the research you want. This is the best one that I've found. This is the one I highly recommend. Uh, $269, and it's two terabytes. So if you don't wanna get the you know, 10, 12 terabyte uh, hard drive, you can use this for a while, and it'll do, especially if you're just doing photos. But what I do is I use this to edit my stuff on. I'm saving all of my, all of my projects on it, so Premiere Pro and all that stuff, if you don't have Premiere Pro or Photoshop or Lightroom, there is a link that helps the channel out. It's an affiliate link, no extra cost to you, and you can try it for free. I do this first, and then I dump it all onto my larger hard drive. So that's kind of my process, and when I'm editing, I have this thing hooked up every single time because it moves my computer like that because it's using this externally instead of my computer internally. So if your computer's slow, it's getting slow, it's old and you don't have the thousands, you know, $1,000, $2,000, all of a sudden, you know, 269 doesn't look that bad comparatively. So you can speed up your process, which we get paid by the job. We don't get paid by the hour. So the quicker we can get something done and get it to our client is the, the less hours we spend on it and it's the more we make per hour. So you get paid 200 bucks. Well, if you take 10 hours because of editing, because of your slow computer, and you can cut that into five hours, you just doubled your money immediately. So that's my thought process on it. If you've liked today's video, like I said, it was gonna be short and sweet. I just wanted to share this with you and give you kind of, if you're just starting out, this is stuff that you need. You have to have this to speed up the process and make sure you are backing up because there's nothing worse than a client coming to you and say, hey, do you still have those photos from this time? And, and this has happened before. So a client that would be like from a year ago, they sold the house and then they did it again. And they're like, hey, do you still have those photos? I'll give you X amount of, I'll give you 50, $75 if you'll give me those photos again. That's one job for two monies. That's a no brainer. So this saved my life. At the time I just had this. Save up a little money from some jobs, start doing this. This will cut your time in half or more especially if you're doing video. Video takes up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of SSD. So that will help you out. And then please get, it don't have to be a, a 10 terabyte, 12 terabyte, but get something that will allow you to back up. And so that helps me stay organized and it keeps all of my files backed up in case, because I've had this happen before too. You have an agent that may be new or they may be a little older or you sent them. Well, what are you going to do? If you didn't back anything up, the photos are nowhere. You've already erased them off your memory card so you have more room for your next jobs. And now you're like, well, they're not gonna pay you to come do it again. They won't. They may offer you 25 bucks or something that's like ridiculous and you're like, well, I can't, I can't clear my schedule for this job for that much. If you would have invested in these things we talked about today, you would never have to deal with that problem again. And it's a great comfort that I have these and I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. So go through the process. You take the photos, you come home, you immediately back them up before you edit them. Then you take them, you edit them, put them in a separate folder underneath the date, the name of the property. Then you update that backup. So it's it's a merge of the, fold, the new folder and the old folder that you had and merge it together. Then you have your backed up images and you'll never have an issue or trouble with this. So once again, if you haven't yet, it would mean a great deal to me if you would hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification so you can see whenever I put new videos out. And if you have a question about real estate, photography, cameras, lighting, anything like that, just leave me a comment and I will gladly make a video specifically tailored to what you ask. All right, I'll see you on the next one.
Thank you.